the power. Disc Mac. What's up, everybody? How's it going? It's Too Cool TV. I'm back in with another walkthrough on LMMS, the best free music creation software in the world. And I'm going to talk to you guys about how I use this to make the instrumental for this song, Girl Named Sue. This song was like a really fun song. It was purposely like out of a silly song. Like it wasn't taking it to itself seriously at all. It's a cool song I had a lot of fun with. It was kind of like an inside joke when I made it to make like a country song. And I wanted to make a very country western sounding song. I was kind of going for like a bluegrass type of a feel when I was making the instrumental for it. And then just like being really silly and playful and the freestyle that I did over this. So what I used for this, I used um, a sample actually. So I opened up my favorite plugin, Short Circuit, and a sample that I use. We'll show you the sample I use here. So make sure I put it on just a forward shot to put it back to its normal pitch, so you can hear what it originally was like. I don't think it'll break anything if I bring it back. If it does, I can just reload it. So that's the original sample. I know it's a little quiet. So then, we raise it up four semitones. So now what do you have? So you might be hearing some of it. So we, we chopped it up. So I put it back on the sliced, uh, then it's what you have for the chops. I think that's the only three chops I did. So, so now if it might sound familiar, if you've heard the song or you heard the preview of it at the intro. That right there is the basis of how this beat was made. You know, it's just that simple. So it was just pitching up the guitar sample there, chopping it up. So that's what the chops look like. It's real simple. And that's all it is to it. Very simple chops. So then I said, we got to go in and put the drums to it, all right? So let me isolate it out by itself here. So that way you can see what we have going on. So this is the drums here. Use the Trapaholic kick sample, like a nice long 808 kick sound. So as you figure out what's the key that that sample is in, which was I pitched it up, then I just I put this to the sample, so that's it's it's gonna sound like the bass line going to that, and it was an artistic choice to use like a long kick sample because you know the thing was part of the inside joke of me making this was there was another artist that I was supposed to have been working with and doing some tracks for and they had suggested when they were talking to me they wanted to make like a country rap sound and they said you know that song that that Lil Nas X I like that Lil Nas X why don't you make me something like that Lil Nas X so like that's kind of was the inspiration for this I said based on like the old town road how they actually there's I believe was a nine inch nails guitar sample that they made it sound like a country sample. But I want to take it a step further. And I wanted to make it sound like bluegrass. I wanted to like take it even further than they did. Somebody said it's like a they might be giants type sound. Which I could hear that. So now what you got this on there. You, you got your little kick sound that, that goes with the key of it. Let me see if I can solo. There's these two sounds out. And mute everything else. So 
So that's basically the motor of the whole song right there. So the song is pretty simple. It's a short song. I didn't really do a whole lot with this instrumental. I wanted to keep it real simple and light. So the next thing was that just real simple. Let's add some drums to it. So as you can see, the whole song is really based on these, uh, you know, four measure loops. That's really all it is to it. So the only other thing that I added to it, I wanted to do something for the hook. Because that's just the way that I do it. I'm very like old school, formulaic. I have to have something that it is going to separate what the hook sounds like from what the verses sounds like. So I usually try to either put an extra sound in it or something that's more minimalistic like this I'll take away a sound or I'll add a sound I like to try to do something you know rather a minimalistic song I'll add just a little counter melody something that's more busy I'll take away sounds and make it more stripped back sometimes I'll take away the drums so in this case I want to do another guitar sound so this is another plugin and this is a plugin you could get for free that I would recommend it this is a uh, oops I did the wrong button hold on a second this is uh, the DSK Guitars, free plugin. It gives you actually a pretty good plugin guitar sound for something that's free. Especially if you mess with it, you know, it's going to really uh, give you some cool stuff. So this is velocity sensitive. So when well, you like kind of have a higher velocity it's going to give it a more like it'll give you a different tone i don't play guitar so i don't know what the terms would be for it but it gives you a different tone when it's at a higher velocity so i said real simple counter melody on that uh plug in so since it's at like the higher velocity it gives you that bling bling Bring, bring. Gives you that little sound at the high velocity. So when you put it together. And then, of course, for the actual uh, song, too, you know, I took out a little measure every now and then. You know, I just did little stuff like that in the final mix of it to give it a little bit of a flair. So this one here, this is just an intro. You know, the intro, this is a thing I do, too. One of my little stylistic calling cards. I will do just a sample by itself for the intro. So that's what all this is, you know. This thing by itself for the intro. So yeah, it's just a real simple little instrumental I did on this one. So this one right here is a song that a lot of my people that know me personally really enjoy because you know they were in on the you know inside joke of me making it. A lot of people that I don't know personally that was doing on SoundCloud, they get a kick out of it too. You know, a lot of people really get a kick out of this song. I like it. It's, I think it's awesome. It's it's hilarious. It's cute. And, you know, it's kind of catchy, too. So, you know, it's, it's got everything that you need to make a great song. And this one is one that, you know, as it gets, you know, more promoted, I do expect this one, you know, to, a lot, that a lot of other people should get a kick out of it, too. There's going to be a lot of people that will enjoy this one. So that's just, you know, the walkthrough for this beat for a girl named Sue. And, you know, so I did on this one that, you know, it's important to share it with you guys and for you guys to learn about with this one is kind of two things. One thing, you know, sometimes just something simple like this, something simple and light and fun is all that you need. 
and that's important to be different, you know, because it's because a, a song like this, you know, it's, it's weird and it's strange, but it's different, and you know, people got a kick out of it because of that. And the biggest thing when you do stuff like that is not to take yourself too seriously. You know, it's okay to laugh at yourself. I know there's some people that won't get a kick out of it; they'll hate it, but that's okay. <laughs> It doesn't really make a big difference to me if you, you know, get a kick out of it or if you hate the song. But, you know, that's just the things to learn from it. So, there's a little behind the scenes how we did this one. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Found it informative. Maybe learned a little something. And appreciate you guys that you made it this far to the video. I will catch you on the next one. Dope.